Kyrie Irving is a Dallas Maverick. I, for one, am happy for Kyrie. If you are somewhere and you don't feel like people appreciate you, you have the right to ask for an exit. There's nothing wrong with that. And for people who think, oh, he's just a disruptor, no, he's not. Kyrie, everybody knows Kyrie is an elite basketball player. But we also understand, you don't want to talk about Kyrie. Um, let's talk about Dylan Brooks and Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, I heard what Donovan Mitchell said about Dylan Brooks. And to be honest with you, I have to agree with him. I don't know why Dylan Brooks seems hell-bent on becoming Draymond Green. I mean, really, maybe he feels like because Draymond doesn't get the punishment or sat down or ejected that he can act like that. You know, and I've heard it said, Dylan Brooks is an asset to the Memphis Grizzlies. So what are we doing? So it does say a lot that the league allows Draymond to be a bad boy. But when Dylan Brooks does it, he's somehow a liability to his team. Let me say this. I applaud Kyrie Irving for asking for a trade, for having the courage to ask for a trade. You know, it says a lot that if a person doesn't feel like they are valued, then they have the right to ask to move on. There's nothing wrong with that. But these are my sticking points. The owner really felt like trading Kyrie to the Dallas Mavericks made more sense than trading them to the 13th or 15th place Los Angeles Lakers. And I'm thinking to myself, this is chess, not checkers. And kudos to Mark Cuban. We all know Mark Cuban is an astute businessman. We know that. And we know that in 2018, the Atlanta Hawks traded Luka to the Mavs and for Trey Young. And look how well that's not working out for Atlanta. And let's be clear, I'm a Hawks fan, babe. I'm a Hawks fan big time to the point of I don't want to go to no more games <laughs> to see them lose. They need to be on a 12-game winning streak before I show up again. I literally watched my beloved Atlanta Hawks play in Denver and lose by 20 points. Do y'all know what that feels like? Like, wow. Like, I feel like I had a brain freeze. I was so let down on the inside. If you go to my Instagram page, you can look at how sad and dejected I felt after we lost uh, Miami. It, it, there was no Jimmy Butler. There was no Kyle Lowry. And we still lost. We didn't just lose. We had a clinic ran on us. It looked like the Hawks at the time didn't know how to play basketball. They looked winded. They looked beleaguered. They looked out of pocket. So you know what? 2023, I tried again, and I'm right back in the same place, but worse. This time, the losses are coming with drama, internal drama. Half the people want the coach fired. The other half feel like I do, and if Trey Young, since he bought a house in California, I'm just ready for him to pack up and get on. Like, for real, because all of the drama is causing a problem within the, the locker room. Do I feel like Deontay Murray is the savior to come to save the Hawks? Absolutely. He's my de facto leader. Whether we, we said that he was or not, he is it. You can see right there where Dylan Brooks raises his hand and intentionally hits Donovan Mitchell in the groin. And to be honest with you, I read a story where somebody said that Donovan Mitchell was the aggressor. And I'm like, how? Or is it just me? Because Dylan Brooks definitely does not deserve a pass. In fact, how long before he's suspended for a year rather than just being ejected? Because if he keeps this up, somebody's going to hurt him seriously. Okay, thank y'all for watching and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.